Today's makeover is one that anyone can do. If you're looking for a way to paint wood furniture without sanding or priming and no top coat needed, oh, and it creates a beautiful brush-free finish with budget-friendly supplies, then this video is for you. We picked up these oak end tables from our thrift store for only $10 each. What? They were in great condition, but they were outdated and needed some love. This is the best type of furniture to paint if you don't want to sand or prime, there wasn't any damage to repair, and the original finish still looked great. If your furniture has knobs or handles or anything similar, it needs to be removed before anything happens. This literally took less than one minute with my electric screwdriver. And now we have an easier surface to work with. Then we need to clean the furniture. I like to clean my furniture with crud cutter because it easily cuts through grease, oils, and grime that can prevent paint from sticking to the wood. Just spray it on, let it sit for a few seconds, and then wipe everything away with a clean damp rag. And then let the furniture dry. Now it's time for the paint. This is farmhouse paint in the color pumice stone. It's a water-based, all-in-one formula that says it doesn't need primer or a top coat and that it has ultra adhesion. I mix the paint really, really well and then I brush some of the paint onto a few different areas of the furniture. Sometimes the different surfaces are made of different materials, so I like to test it all over just to make sure it will work on the whole entire piece. If you're nervous about your paint sticking to your furniture without sanding, you can paint a couple of samples just like this to test it out before you paint everything. We let the samples dry overnight, so it ended up drying for like 17 hours. And then I scratched at it with my fingernail. Typically, if the paint comes off easily when I scratch at it after 24 hours, then I don't trust it to stick well enough for no sanding or no priming. This paint scratched a little tiny bit, but I had to dig into it to get it to scratch just a little bit. So at this point, I completely trust that it's going to stick, especially after it cures in a month. So I painted the first coat on. I used a zebra round paintbrush to brush it on and I didn't do anything special to the paint until partway through. <laughs> I added some water to the paint to thin it out to help it create a brush free finish. I don't know that I really needed to thin it out but I really don't like brush marks, so I didn't want to chance it. I love these round paint brushes though. They are about $10 and the shape of them make it so easy to paint furniture. You can easily paint round surfaces like these legs, flat surfaces, grooves, and details. To help reduce any brush marks, I went over the paint with long brush marks once it was on the furniture. I also watched for drips in the paint and brushed them out before they dried. Then I let the first coat dry for a few hours and here's what it looked like. It looked streaky and I could still see the wood underneath, but the paint felt really smooth. The first coat always looked so bad with light paint colors, so I really wasn't worried. I also scratched at it to make sure that it was adhering well and it was. So I painted the second coat on the same way that I had painted the first coat. It covered a lot better this time, but there were still some areas that I could see through the paint still. After the second coat of paint was dry, I saw a little drip on the front of the table and I couldn't help myself. I sanded that little drip out. I try so hard not to sand something at all and yet I cannot help myself. Anyway, I ended up painting three coats total and then I let it completely dry. The old hardware isn't my style at all, so I changed them out for some cup pools that I had in my hardware stash. They're the same size as the original hardware, but I felt like the original hardware was a little bit too high up, so I drilled new holes a little bit down further where I could still cover up the original holes. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button so you can see more of our videos. Thank you. Here's what they looked like before. And here's what they look like now. These tables are so stinking cute now. The paint seems to be like an eggshell finish, not matte, but not shiny either. 
and I love it. I'm curious about how it is with dark colors though. I scratched at the paint four days after the last coat and it came off when I scratched hard. I've seen similar results before and after 30 days, it shouldn't scratch at all anymore. I'll keep you updated though. This makeover cost $97 between the paint, cleaner, hardware, and brush. They took less than five hours total to paint and I can use most of those supplies on a few more of these makeovers too. But the real question is, what do you think of this makeover? Are you looking for a simple project like this or would you rather sand and prime? Let me know in the comments. Not sure what supplies you need for your furniture flip? We got you. Click the link in my comment to download our free list of must-have supplies that we use every day to paint furniture.